Hey everyone, Cody Mathurin here. Welcome back to Instant Healthification. Today's workout, we're going to do our shoulders and our arms. Very important right here. And everybody likes to have some good set of arms and the shoulders. We need our shoulders to be in good conditions because without our shoulders, we can't accomplish a lot of the workouts that we need to be in, be in the shape we want to be. So real quick, just jump up and down. There we go. This is just to get the blood flowing. It's a beautiful day outside, but we're going to be using some household appliances today. So uh, let's get our knees up. We need to be inside for this workout. Alright, get our knees up. And even though we're working out our upper body, we want to get our whole body warmed up. So we start from the ground and work our way up. Alright, here we go. Ride a cowboy. Keep the butt a little bit. Get the hands up. Get our shoulders involved. These are our front jacks. Alright, side jacks right here. You can cross over like a little Irish dancer. Right there. The hand eye coordination working. Alright. Get some big arm circles. Really want to get the circle super big, big range of motion here. Go front, let's work our way back. All right. Remember, we want to really control our breath throughout all of this. Let's do one arm. Go backwards for a few, and then let's go forward. Let's bring it back. All right. And we go forward. And if you can do this, go forward. Try to go front and back. It's kind of like rubbing the top of your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. It's pretty challenging. But once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. <laughs> you'll feel like a fool. You'll just like go and like do this for a few times, but then you'll get finally get the hang of it. See, I'm already lost. Alright. <laughs> so let's just go forward a little bit. Alright, y'all. That's about all the warming up we need. Let's get right into our workout. All right, y'all, we just finished our warm up. We're gonna get right into our workout. There's a few things that you're gonna need for the workout today. We need a book bag, a duffel bag, but really any bag will do. We have our books right here, not quite for reading, but for our weights. And I have two cans. I have extra virgin olive oil and canola oil. And it might look weird right now, but you'll see where I'm going with this, so just stick with me. I promise we're not using it to cook. Not just yet. Alright, so the first workout we're going to do, we're going to do arm circles. And remember, we're going to do six workouts, one minute per workout, with a 60 second break at the end. And then I want you to rewind it and do another round with me. And if you want to go crazy, you can always do three rounds. So, ready? Let's go forward. Keep our hands up. We're going to start out with small circles first. Keep our abs tight and our butt tight. And then we're going to bring it back. Go small and go in reverse. We're going to turn them over right now like we're pouring out our drinks. And most of all, most important, we want to breathe. Make sure you're keeping your abs tight and your butt tight. You always want to have your core engaged. All right, and from there, let's do some big forward circles. Remember to breathe. Let's go back. Turn it upside down. Bring it back down, y'all. Wow. All right, and let's go in reverse. Big wings. All right, we're almost at five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And if you had to, use a Coca-Cola can. You don't have to use that. That's a bit heavier weight, but we don't want to use too much weight on our shoulders. The shoulders are fragile, so at most 10 pounds, or I'd say two gallons, since we're working with milk and stuff. All right, so uh, we're gonna do our three-way curl. So get your bags, and one thing challenging about this, it's gonna be hard to tell, but wait, I just go by feel. And you could get a pretty good estimate of how much you're using just by the feel. So, let's start out. We want our feet shoulder width apart, abs tight, butt tight. We want to have our back 
chest out, I'm gonna go forward. Remember, we wanna fully extend our arms, and squeeze those biceps tight as we pull up. Here we go. Keep it going, we're still going forward. Let's go on a 45 degree angle. Here we go. Keep going, we're about to switch. I know you can feel the burn because I can feel it too. That's what we want. That's when we know we're getting a good workout. And then let's go fully out to the side. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do some reverse curls. It's gonna help work our forearms out. All right, almost there. If you have to stop, stop. Then get right back into it. Five, four, three, two, one. That burn. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just shake my arms out, let that burn get out for a second. Just wiggle the arms like this. And be good to go. All right, so now we're gonna do some shoulder lifts. So since I am doing shoulder lifts, this tends to be a lot of weight. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some weight up, just so I'm not straining my shoulder. What I got, take out my book right here. It's that easy. See? All right, get rid of Rolling Stone. We don't need that. All right, y'all. That easy. Yeah, that feels pretty good to me. So these gonna be our wide shoulder lifts. Kind of like the three way we do with the curls, that's how we're gonna do it with the shoulders. Remember, same thing, butt tight, hands tight. Go up, and down. And you don't wanna go too hot, you wanna ride that shoulder wet. Remember to breathe. Whatever thought you could use book bags to get a good workout. All right, from there, we're gonna go to the side. Feel this in your shoulders, all around. You really want to have control going up and down. You want to feel like you can control the whole time. Now we're going to have an angle, just like this. A nice perpendicular with our arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. <sighs> all right. So now, we're gonna do some duffel bag curls with an overhead press. And we're gonna be working a few muscles. Working our biceps and our shoulders at once, that way we get more workout in less time. And remember, if you need to take a break, pause this video real quick, take a few seconds break, but get right back into it. You don't wanna to stop too long here. So, right here, we're gonna do our curl, and then turn it over, and press up. Go down. And then we go reverse curl. Up, over, just like that. And I feel like the slower you go, the better it is. And if you want to, you can get in a squat, and it's gonna make it more of a challenge. And I'm not even in a deep squat right now, this is already a lot harder. Alright, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna stop for a few seconds, gather myself, and then I'm gonna get right back into it. We're almost there, we got 15 seconds left. Just push it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Alright. Now we're gonna get some anger out and some aggression. I know we have some aggression from work. I know I built up some aggression. This is the perfect way to get it out. I have my coconut water here, and I got some bocchino. So, feet forward, getting that athletic stance. And this is great, we're just gonna punch, punch. There we go. Now look, 
You don't need to do what I'm doing exactly. Just do combos, whatever you want. If you want to do uppercuts the whole time, that's fine. Just keep it going. Remember to breathe. This is too light for me, so I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go to my olive oil. Let's go. There we go. Good job. Punch. Make sure you turn those feet. Yeah. Breathe in as you come in. And look, right here, that's working out the lower part of my back and my shoulder. Let me go inside. Punch the person, big tall guy, punch him in the face. Let's just finish with some jazz. We're almost at five, four, three, two, one. All right. Don't open up those drinks right now because they will explode in your face and that's going to be bad. Alright, for the final one, we save the best for last. We're going to do chin ups. And the great thing about chin ups are they really focus on your biceps. Even though they do work out your back, they're really meant for your biceps and your arms. I have my chair right here because I know once I'm about 10 seconds into this, it's going to burn and it's going to hurt and I'm going to need some help. So I'm going to do as many as I can by myself. And then I'm going to use some stability here. All right, y'all. Let's do it. Go all the way down. All right. So look, I'm starting to feel it. Get my chair. Like that's not close, you want to have it pretty close to you right here. This will be good. This is going to help me focus on my range of motion. Go all the way down, come up. Down and up. There we go, good job. Almost there. that 60 second break, enjoy it, because you got another round to do, you're relaxed, if you have to shake it out, slap the back, reach high into the sky, and go back, and get right back into it y'all, great workout, alright, great job, we just finished our workout, I know you did three rounds, I know everybody did, huh, <laughs> just kidding, two rounds of that should be enough. Let's do a nice cool down. I like to start with just stretching my tricep out. This is my time to come down and just relax, think about my workout. Pretty much just pat myself on the back for getting up today and doing a workout. Because you know, not many people want to do a workout. Makes you feel better about everything. Makes you feel better about yourself. Let's do a nice back stretch in our shoulder. Lean over a little bit. about 15 20 seconds you're gonna go 30 seconds with these you can you don't have to all right let's do our right arm and if you want to while we're doing this just kick your legs out a little bit let those legs cool down even though we didn't use our legs a lot you still use them always use them all right let's do the right side kind of yoga pose right here. There we go. All right, and this is one of my favorite stretches. We're gonna do it right here. Now we're gonna push our palms against each other and we're gonna round our shoulders out. And you're gonna feel this all in your shoulders and your arms. It feels amazing. This is almost the time to try to get in like your zen mode and just relax. And from there, take my palms, squeeze them together. If you can, just do this. If you can really go for the stretch, go down all the way, just like that. The farther you can push down, the better. And this is working out. This is stretching all my chest, 
my shoulders like I'm in a straight jacket. That's one of my favorites. And do this a few times. Alright. We'll go back just for a quick one again. And let's go back here. Alright y'all. That's the cool down. It's that easy. It's that quick. Let's go cook some food. Hi everyone. Welcome back to our cooking session here at Instant Altification. Just finished our arms and shoulders, and we're about to get into one of my favorite recipes. We're gonna make a chicken flatbread with fresh spinach, feta cheese, some sauteed onions, I have pickled jalapenos. You can use fresh if you want. Fresh are gonna be a little more spicy. I like the uh, pickled ones myself. We have some ground black pepper, salt, garlic powder. We have our Asian sesame dressing that we're gonna put on top. I got sugar free, just to make it a little better for you. Extra virgin olive oil, diced chicken, and some fresh spinach. So let's get started real quick. I'm gonna saute these onions up. Put a little olive oil right here. Just a dab. Here we go. I already, I minced these up nice. Not even minced them, but just in a nice slice. I break them up as I put them in. That way they cook a little easier. And uh, you know, just a little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder, whoa. A little too much, and some black pepper. I'm gonna just move those around and let those do their thing. I'll leave them alone now. Now, I got my burner turned on high for my chicken. Throw my chicken in here, put some olive oil. Make sure you Make sure your pans are hot as always. You gotta have hot pans. And for this one, the same thing. Salt, a little less garlic powder since I put a good amount on my onions. And some black pepper. And uh, we're almost through the dish already. It's that quick. I'm just gonna move this around. Let those seasonings catch on. And this is the cool part. I was gonna call this a pizza, and then I thought about it. I'm not really using any tomato sauce here, so I don't feel like it's an actual pizza. So I'm gonna go with a flatbread. So what I do is, I'm gonna lay this down, I'm gonna put some olive oil on it right here. I'm just gonna rub this around on nice and such. There you go. And the reason I'm doing this is, when I put it down on the skillet right here, which is very hot, I don't want this to burn. So I'm gonna lower my heat to a nice medium, a medium heat. Put your olive oil side down like that. Automatically gonna put my feta cheese on there. I love feta cheese, I think it's one of the best. I always say, nothing better but a little feta. There we go. So I'm gonna let that do its thing. Now, while this is cooking right here, just tell you about a little wine we got to go with this. We're gonna be enjoying a Lambrusco today. And if you don't know, Lambrusco is an Italian wine, it's red wine, it's perfect for picnics when it's hot outside, it's nice and zesty, and uh, let's give it a try. Let it smell. It's more an off-dry, kind of that sweet flavor and consistency. Yeah. So look, I got a little char in mine, because I like, like char. It's not gonna hurt it. So, come here real quick. See how it's starting to get air bubbles in it? That's a good sign that your bread is starting to get color. Look at that color. So I'm gonna put my spinach on here. I like to use fresh spinach. I don't like to cook my spinach. I'm gonna turn the heat very low so it doesn't burn on me because the bread can burn pretty quick. Put our jalapenos, jalapenos. There we go. And you don't need a lot of jalapenos. You don't want to kill this dish with spice. We got our chickens getting there. My onions, I'm happy with where they're at. I'm gonna start putting them down. That's hot. All right, so just spread them out nice and even. There you go. And you have a few options with this dish. 
You can make it a flatbread if you want. You can make it into a quesadilla and just fold it over. And the real thing that's going to make it be able to be a quesadilla is the cheese. And that cheese is going to stick and it's going to keep the bread together for you. Alright. Alright, so this has been about three minutes. This really does not take a long time at all. Now, a big important step with this is, make sure you get a spatula. And when you pull this up, it's going to be a disaster. And everything's going to fall apart. So look at that. See that nice color we got there? That's beautiful. I mean, you can't ask for more. It's going to have a nice crunch when you take a bite from it. It's going to be fantastic. That will do it. And the Asian sesame dressing. This is what's really going to give it that extra edge. The spice from the jalapeno, the sweetness of the Asian sesame, and you got a little sweetness with the wine. It's going to balance out any heat you have. It's going to be delicious. Oh, it's good. And if you are a little bit on the safe side and you don't want to put too much dressing, use a spoon. Let's do one tablespoon at a time. And you don't need a lot of dressing. I'm going to do two tablespoons and I'm going to be good. Maybe a little less. There you go. Start cooking. A little something, something. You want it to cook quick, you put some pressure on it. Squeeze out all that water. This is for the impatient cooker like myself who wants to eat. You hear all that water squeezing out? It's just like Yeah. All right, that'll do. Good to go. Let's put this right here. And that's, that's where it's at. All right, y'all. Take a look at that. So here we have our Asian sesame, sesame ginger chicken, fresh spinach, feta cheese. And this right here, that's deliciousness in a plate, all right? And if you want to, if you really want to make it a quesadilla, you can just flip it over halfway. You hear it cracking already? That's good. It's a good sign. And you can just, or you can just eat it as a taco like this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I've had a good time. I hope you did too. Stay healthy. Remember to subscribe and have a good day, okay? Check us out on Instagram also.